Preparing for the Ebola virus in the mountains. Local experts want to make sure they're ready for this global health emergency. News 13's John Lee is live at Mission Hospital. John, local agencies say they've been developing plans for Ebola for months. That's right. Last week there was a meeting targeting Ebola, including Mission Hospital, as well as the airport, as well as Buncombe County health officials, and they discussed the disease that has been on their radar for some time. The likelihood of a true outbreak in the United States is extraordinarily low. For several months, Mission Hospital says a team of experts have formed a plan to brace for a potential case. In the event that we see any patients who we suspect have Ebola virus. Neonatologist Chris DiRienzo is Mission's chief patient safety officer. He says Mission's plan goes beyond CDC recommendations, telling us Ebola is now built into the electronic screening process to help nurses. But they have that kind of a prompt reminder uh, to be able to help support them when it's a very busy emergency department and you're seeing patient after patient after patient to say, wait, pause for a second. He also says caregivers have vital facts about the incurable virus. The kind of education they need to be able to recognize signs or symptoms of Ebola, as well as a travel history that would then prompt um, taking the right precautions. Dirienzo adds a team of infection preventionists are on call 24-7. Now this is an example of an isolation room at the hospital. It includes a ventilation system that generates negative pressure allowing air to flow in but not escape the room. This would be one of the simple pieces of standard equipment. It's a droplet mask. As you can tell by this part right here, it protects your eyes from fluid that could potentially carry the Ebola virus. But would also keep virus particles uh, from entering um, a caregiver's mouth as well as a fluid resistant gown. But the historic Ebola case in Texas raises concerns about what could happen anywhere. I don't think that we have all the answers as to what really happened in Dallas. When that patient first went to the hospital, he told the nurse about his recent travel to Liberia, but that information didn't get to the doctors evaluating him. So he was released the first time around. It's been a little disheartening to me that I've seen individuals in Texas being given this responsibility that, oh, this person missed this or this person missed that. Mistakes that give his health workers something to learn from. And so the doctor says the key, uh, his job essentially, is to provide the resources that are necessary to help those workers make sure they don't make mistakes that could end up being deadly. Reporting live here in Asheville, John Lee, News 13.